party negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us. And based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is for Elden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Liliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. With respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria is proving to be a woman that few dare to disagree with. She has already won concessions for the Inquisition. You are fortunate to have her support. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. And of course, there is the Tevinta Ambassador. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have a chance once the Exalted Council is underway. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. I am glad you saw more clearly than I did. You're going to apologize to Dorian. I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apology somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This exalted council. Thoreldon would have the Inquisition disband. Olay sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? The Inquisition still has work to do. 
We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. Divine Victoria keeps close counsel on her position. Be here if you need me. You there! You're to dodge, not catch! If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You found a dog. They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Tire of you? With that positive attitude and fetching ability? <laughs> He's not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, <laughs> I think he likes me. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. He should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. <coughs> the Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. <coughs> Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. I can't imagine the Inquisition without you. I am honored, and likewise, Inquisitor. <coughs> you can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go. something here. Better take a closer look. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I scheduled this appointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have.
What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. How are your international relations with our favorite Tevinter Magister-to-be? Things are excellent. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear it. You've done so much, darling. You deserve to be happy. <laughs> you must be keeping very busy. Someone has to keep the mess that's been made of Thedas' institutions of magic from flying apart. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. Darling, what can I do for you? I don't think they knew. I can't believe them. Just what we needed. Scout lays hard. Fashionably late. I thought you weren't going to show. <laughs> you wanted to catch up? And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. Are you glad you at least tried to apologize? It's hard to say. I go back and forth most days. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. No matter what, you know you can always count on my sword arm and my friendship. Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Think you can do better? Inquisitor?
Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. I am. What's on your mind? Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. I really can't imagine what you mean. Oh, I'm talking about marriage. Marriage? Of course, Dorian being to Winter will raise eyebrows across the Empire, but if that is you... You're not proposing... to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? He said I was going to propose. He... mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. So... did you mean what you said? Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come. It is good to see you, my friend. Here's you, and everyone. Glad to be back all stuffed together, with the pressure full on, again. Don't worry, Herald of Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Just like best times.
I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. The Inquisition's still needed. No one can question that. That's the problem. When people need us, they don't need them. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends. And all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? You want the Inquisitor? Don't I have a few more titles than your usual Jenny? No offense. Some taken. Pfft, words. Look, we don't want you. We want to be there for you. If you want to keep doing, it won't be nobles who help. It'll be friends. I don't think I can do what you do, but I'm glad to call you friend. Then we're still at your back. You'd have a hard time stopping us. Did we make this trip for nothing? Balls, no. We're gonna drink to tomorrow until it's yesterday. <laughs> uh, to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. Sarah was never in the grave. Creepy song is creepy. Blah. Go figure out what end this bunch want, and then we can get to fun with friends and friends. Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the Chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during the Orlesian unification, under the reign of Mafarath's son, Isarath. Uh-huh. Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into Tairnirs governed by Tairns. Inside those are cities and Arlings ruled by Arls. And then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. <sighs> Good to know.
You know, Bull, you almost fight like a tempest. Do you ever want to just break a flask over yourself and kill things? No. Well, no more than usual. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Hey, boss. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Glimmering, glittering, perfect cut, mask a maze of gemstones. She will think it pretty. Excuse me. I might, um... You're useful to have around, Cole. He wants stones the color of his eyes. Happy, bright, beaming, being seen, not seeing. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Inquisitor, how good to see you here. I came to sit and pen another song. Sweet songs, poignant pain plants joy that grows later. She can't see me. I help her help people. I gathered. You're smart and kind. You're worthy of true love. Hello, Halam Sharam! The fire of Zither must be fueled by wine, ideally shared with adoring fans. But not with him. You need somebody nice. <laughs> yes, better. He'll be gentle. So will you. You're with the Chargers, are you not? I've seen you in the Skyhold Tavern where I sing. Oh, yes. I, I love your songs. Sometimes I'd sit up on the chair to take a better look at your songs. The Chargers have their own song, if you'd like to hear it. Good. You're sure they'll both be all right when Krem tells her? Strong arms, a sweet voice. Father wanted me to be happy. Which one of them is that? <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> 